Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to share my process for embroidering and beading a Christmas tree. This is a really easy project to make for decorating your home or for giving as a gift. I've been making some to bring to my pop-up at Interwoven, which is happening on Saturday, December 16th from 2 to 6. That's in Asbury Park, New Jersey. And I also made a few for my online shop. So let's get started with the project. I've got an embroidery hoop, some red linen scrap fabric. I've got an embroidery needle, a pair of scissors, and I've also got thread. I'll be using brown thread and green thread, and I also have a pen for drawing. The first thing I'm gonna do is stretch some of this fabric in the hoop, and then once that's done, I can draw a general outline for the tree. This is the pen I'm using. It's a Faber-Castell Pitt artist pen in dark sepia. Yeah, I just kind of picked it because it's around. So for this base drawing, I just draw a simple trunk and branches and everything else I'm going to stitch. It's very minimal drawing and it's actually similar to how I make a base drawing before I embroider ferns. I'm going to use brown thread for the trunk and branches and I'm going to follow along where I drew the lines with a simple chain stitch. I'm just gonna finish up all these branches in this chain stitch style and then I can move on to the green bits of the tree. So for these winter green bristles of the tree, I'm going to make a diagonal straight simple stitch and then keep doing that along the brown chain stitch. I'm going to keep doing this stitch even around the tip of that chain stitch and then all the way down the other side of that branch. It'll kind of look like a feather when it's done. So now I'm going to stitch all of the branches in this way and once I get to the branches above these two lower ones, I'll start layering the green so that the tree is nice and full. All right, now that that's done, I'm going to decorate this tree with some beads. I have a beading needle as well as some regular sewing thread. And I also brought out one of my bead kits with some miscellaneous beads. I figured I could use some of these green ones as well as some faux pearls and those could be like little ornaments and then I'll go from there. Before I bead the ornaments, I want to stitch a star on top of the tree using some of these silver seed beads and then some of the gold bugle beads. And I'm stitching maybe four beads at a time and trying to reinforce them, but I came up with a little design where the silver beads are on the outside of the star and then the gold bugle beads are the inner part of the star and then the center is also a little silver seed bead. Mm -hmm. 
All right, the star is done, and now I'm going to bead some ornaments onto the tree. I didn't really have a plan. I just kind of scattered the pearls and the other beads around the tree, trying to evenly disperse them. I did change my mind about doing a single pearl and decided instead to border it with a couple silver beads to add some sparkle. <laughs> um, Something I really enjoy about Christmas decorations is the glamour, so I definitely wanted um, some of my trees to be kind of sparkly or just a little bit extra. I also started incorporating some of these sparkly green beads placed all around the pearl ornaments. The last thing I'm going to add are these multicolored beads and I wanted them to represent rainbow Christmas lights. And just like the previous beads, I'm trying to scatter them evenly around the whole tree to add some color, as well as adding extra shine. And that is my basic Christmas tree tutorial. Of course, you can make this with variations of the different beads, however you like. But before I finish this video, I figured I would also share how I end this hoop or close it off with adding a backing and adding a chain for hanging. I'm just tying off some embroidery floss on an embroidery needle and gathering this excess fabric around the back of the hoop. I've got a bit of floral cotton fabric that I'm going to cut a circle to be the back of the hoop and just neatly fold in any of the raw edges. So I'll pin that in place and then hand stitch it with more embroidery floss. Okay, so the final thing is going to be adding a chain. I've got these key screws that I get at hardware stores and I'm just going to screw them into this wooden hoop and try to make them symmetrical. I've got some silver chain and a couple, um, what do you call them? Jump rings. And I'm just going to attach the chain to the jump rings and then the jump rings to the key screws so that it's all connected and then the piece will be finished. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you end up trying out this project. Send me a little message on Instagram. I will see you next time with another video and take care, bye.